So y'all, the wig shopping was a fail. See, we ended up paying like... <laughs> for the very first time um and i just wanted to vlog it i feel like putting wick would be good for the search engine because people are curious and heck i'm curious i've been looking at some videos before this to help me kind of shop a little bit better so yeah i'm just gonna be making a mini little grocery haul a wick themed the grocery haul and just seeing what all the card can get uh, we did get a couple things with the card already just like some quick stuff but today we're trying to get everything that we can get um, I don't know if we're going to get it in the highest quantity because we don't really need the highest quantity per se, but I'll see what happens when we get there. And this is going to be our first time bringing the baby anywhere with us as a family. Like he has been out with me and his mom-in-law. You already seen that video probably or that video is going to be going up soon, but this is our first time going out as a family. So this ought to be interesting. Um, I fed him and stuff. I'm hoping that he acts right in the store. He did pretty good with me and his mom-in-law, so he should do good. But yeah, I'll see y'all probably. I'll y'all probably hear from me again when we get back, to be honest. And the rest of this vlog, I'm probably just going to play music over it. Before we left, we decided to get a little playtime slash interaction in with the baby. And, and I set out his outfit for the night because we were going shopping at night because I felt like it would be less people and less overwhelming. But yeah, this was that little outfit that he was going to be wearing. Then I had to go ahead and pack his diaper bag, which is pretty easy because I keep it pre-packed. The only thing that I really have to add to it sometimes is like maybe a pacifier or a bottle. You're so heavy. I'm glad you're in a happy mood. And then my lovely fiance buckled him in his car seat so that he could be safe in the car. And once we were done buckling him in his car seat, I noticed he was in an excellent mood, which is really, really good because I was nervous that he might cut up in the store. So him leaving on a good note is already a good sign. But yeah, then we just headed to the store and it was really dark outside. I think this honestly was his first car ride at night. I always sit in the back seat with him. He's three months old in this video and now he's four months old y'all to be honest and i still sit in the back seat with him he's never sat in the back seat by himself i don't know when i'll finally migrate to the passenger seat my rightful throne you know beside my man but i just don't want him to feel alone and like i want to make sure i'm tending to his needs while he's in the back seat and nobody can really see him for real we do have a camera but like i don't know y'all it's just the paranoid new mom first baby type stuff going on right here anyways y'all we have finally made it to the store and we decided to go to food line because before i got wig i used to always see little wig signs at food line and my wig person told me that the workers at food line are very helpful when it comes to wig like they'll show you what's approved and not approved so yeah we decided to go to food line to try out the wig card for the first time we're probably gonna go to other stores in the future but for right now we just went to food line we went to the produce aisle and i just got a bunch of produce that's approved on the paper um there's certain fruits and vegetables that you can get you can't get anything exotic they gave me a monetary amount of 52 dollars so we didn't spend the entire thing but i spent about 25 to 30 of it getting my produce we went into the real aisles and started getting stuff that's more so for like the household and things that are more limited on the paper um they gave us this booklet and this paper to follow and we were mostly following the booklet but y'all gonna find out at the end of this video why that was the wrong thing to do because we ended up having to pay some money out of pocket and i'm gonna tell y'all all about that at the end of the video to be honest but yeah we went through all the aisles just basically picking up stuff that said wick and matching it to 
<laughs> you excited, Poppy? Anyways, we were just using the paper to get stuff inside of the store and like using the stickers inside of the store as like a guide. And yeah, that's pretty much all we're doing right here. I'll be back when we get home and I show y'all everything we got and how much we have to come out of pocket for. <laughs> shopping was a fail i already knew it was probably gonna owe a little bit of money for the vegetables and fruit because we did use some money already but it's giving there was other stuff that wasn't included so now i have to look at mercy we ended up paying like 30 dollars. it only took off 24. so yeah we're about to see what went wrong okay getting some sugar for this day rice krispies we just got literally Okay, so I'm looking at the thing. It looks like the only thing that went through was all of the fruits and vegetables, the yogurt, and the eggs. That's it. That cereal, you pay for the grapes. milk. You paid for one with tomatoes. You paid for The tomatoes is up here. Oh. On the wick. Oh. I paid for that stoop's milk that we didn't even want. I also paid for that Rice Krispies. I know I paid for the cookies. That wasn't up there. The plates. That wasn't up there. So stuff we got, y'all. So we got this nasty cereal for no reason. So it's not nasty, but it's not the best. I know I had to pay for the apple sauce. That still makes sense. So I paid for thirty dollars worth of stuff. Maybe it's just it costs a lot more than I thought. This is why I want food stamps, y'all. Cause like the fruits and vegetables part is literally the easiest part. It's just money. <laughs> it's just fifty-two dollars. So yeah, all of this stuff was covered. The fruits and vegetables. I can't believe we got this nasty milk and it don't even count. We don't even drink milk. We drink almonds or oat. Just anything other than just cow milk. And I had to pay for that. That's crazy. And it was on, it had wick underneath it. I found out the reason the milk didn't count is because I get free soy milk, not any other milk. The sweet potatoes even counted. And these are like little microwave sweet potatoes. In his business, y'all. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Standing on business. So this is everything that counted on the wick thing. I just checked the receipt. This is everything they took off. Now I will say a couple things are missing from this. You get this box of life cereal a while ago um so this was this is low-key a part of it too just gonna put that right there and i think and we already used a couple of the fruits and vegetable money on some other stuff so this is technically everything that we got on wig i think and this is the stuff that did not count um, this applesauce, I already knew that. I'm really shocked at the Juicy Juice. It had wick underneath it, so it should have counted. I'm not really sure why that didn't go through. And we have the um, cheese. It said all kinds, so I thought I could just get the Sargento. This is what we really eat. That didn't count. This did not count, and I'm, we're really mad about this because we don't even drink regular milk. So, like, now we're stuck with this regular milk that I paid real money for which sucks we could have just got our regular vanilla almond like i like um so that's everything and then we also bought this rice crispy cereal but it did not count um i feel like maybe we hit our limit already for the cereal but i feel like 18 ounces isn't that much i'll recheck the little weight requirement thing but yeah this is the everything for the haul 
Um, this is low key a fail because I mean, I know he's gonna have a little bit of a total. I put some stuff in there that didn't go with wig, but it shouldn't have been $34. Like, that's not a lot of money, but that's not what I had in mind of spending. I probably expected to spend like 15 maybe 10 like around that range. So, yeah, that was just shocking because I only really expected to pay for the applesauce and the cookie dough. Everything else should have been free, but yeah, I guess you win some, you lose some. But um, yeah, I'm about to go now. I'm about to put all this stuff away. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for another video. Nazir is knocked out right now. He started cutting up a little bit in the store, so we had to hurry up and wrap it up. But he didn't cut up too bad. He just started like whining, but yeah. See y'all in my next video. Bye.